Two years ago, Malala Yousafzai's young life almost came to an end. On the 9th of October 2012, the young Pakistani schoolgirl was shot in the head and neck by the Taliban while returning home from school. Miraculously, she survived. After initial treatment in Pakistan, she was flown to England, where she underwent weeks of surgery and rehabilitation. Birmingham is very special for me because it was here that I found myself alive. Seven days after I was shot. It is now my second home after my beloved Pakistan. Malala grew up in the Swat Valley in northwest Pakistan. At the end of the last decade, the Taliban were in control. Television and music were banned and schools were regularly blown up. In 2009, when she was 11 years old, she anonymously wrote a blog denouncing the violent extremists and calling for girls to have access to education. Her reputation grew both at home and abroad, but resulted in threats from the Taliban. Now, returned to health and living in England, her passion for education is undimmed. I want to learn um, about politics, uh, about, um, about social rights and about the law. I want to learn how to change, how to bring change in this world and how should I work for the, for the happiness and for the education of the girls. Malala has become a symbol of the fight against religious bigotry and her activism has already won her numerous accolades. After a military campaign to eradicate the Taliban, more and more girls are going to school. Those responsible for the attack were arrested last month, according to the Pakistani army. But some ultra-conservatives have little sympathy for her cause. America is spreading a civilization of nudity in the world. It is a free sex and vulgar society. For that purpose, they need to set up incidents in Pashto society, like the attack on Malala. Then she gets famous, she gives ideas to other girls and develops this culture of indecency here. Having only recently turned 17, Malala Yousafzai has already published her autobiography and one day hopes to return to Pakistan to continue her battle for change.